We all know that Republicans around the country are passing voter suppression ID laws to kick millions of Democrats off the rolls before November. As Salon reporter Alex Seitzwald broke today, former Republican chairman, uh, Republican Party chairman in Florida, Jim Greer, now admits that officials in his party are engaging in voter suppression efforts to, quote, keep blacks from voting, end quote. But since Republicans can't come out and say that, they're instead justifying their efforts by arguing that voter fraud is rampant. In fact, I had a guest on my show argue that voter fraud is so outrageous that even pets like dogs and cats and maybe goldfish are walking into voting booths and casting ballots. We've got pets that are voting. How many people so have, seriously, you've had, a, you've had a pet show up in the polls in Pennsylvania? That's correct. Who, who, who owned that pet and why aren't they not in jail? Well, I don't really know who owned the pet and why they're not in jail. They probably should be. See, the reason they're not in jail is because it didn't happen. Voter fraud is virtually non-existent. It happens less often than people dying because their TVs fell on top of them. But in those few cases where voter fraud actually does happen, it seems like it's mostly Republicans committing it. Meet John Enright, Republican candidate for supervisor in Pinal County, Arizona. Enright just dropped out of the race after accusations surfaced that his companion, whom he had lived with for, uh, until her death in 2007, has been voting from the grave for the five years since her death. Enright claims he's dropping out of the race for other reasons and denies any role in illegally voting on behalf of his former companion. Seems fishy, though. And then there's Ann Coulter, one of the most shrill, hateful conservative voices on television. As reported by Brad Blog, in both 2002 and 2004, Coulter illegally cast absentee ballots in Connecticut, despite her actually being a resident of and living in New York. That's voter fraud. Just like it was voter fraud when former Republican presidential candidate John Huntsman voted in 2010, claiming his governor's mansion in Utah as his official, uh, as his official address, even though he was no longer governor and no longer lived in the mansion. Just like it was voter fraud when Indiana's Republican Secretary of State, Charlie White, the top election official in the state, was found guilty of several felony charges, like lying on voter registration forms, voting in the wrong precincts, and submitting false ballots. The one I'm most interested in hearing is the explanation from none other than Republican Mitt Romney, who likely committed voter fraud back in 2010, when he voted for Scott Brown in Massachusetts by claiming he lived in his son's unfinished basement. So either quarter billionaire Mitt Romney, who owned mansions in California and New Hampshire, but not in Massachusetts, was sleeping in his son's unfinished basement without his butler, maid, or chauffeur, all pretty unlikely, or he committed voter fraud and should face five years in jail and a $10,000 fine. 